Welcome to this session on sourcing grey literature. Grey literature describes the plethora of documents that have not been published commercially. These range from reports to statistics, from clinical trials to dissertations. There's also grey information, which is informally published or unpublished, and grey data, which is user-generated. For this video, all formats will be referred to, in general, as grey literature. Grey literature can be sourced from databases, from the internet and from directly contacting researchers in a field of study. We'll start by looking at databases. There are many free to access databases that specialise in grey literature. Aggregating databases, such as GreyNet International, are especially useful, as GreyNet's Grey Source Index lists grey literature databases by subject. There are databases that specialise in clinical trials, databases that specialise in theses and dissertations, and databases that include grey literature as part of their collections. These databases can be searched using filters for specific document types, such as interviews, standards, conferences, letters or data. General internet searches can be conducted for grey literature. When developing a search strategy, specify what type of content is to appear in search results. Is the search for conference papers, for government reports or for working papers? If so, include these words in the search. File types can also be specified. Internet searches can be refined so that results are only sourced from specific types of websites. This is done by domain searching. For example, .gov limits searches to only governments and their departments, .edu to educational institutions and .org to non-profit organisations. A country code can be added for geographically specific searches, for example, AU for Australia, UK for the United Kingdom and NZ for New Zealand. A state abbreviation can be added to government or education domains, such as WA for Western Australia. Educational institution domain searches depend on the country. Some countries use EDU, whilst others use AC. Researchers and experts in a field of study are useful to contact directly for queries such as accessing raw research data or unpublished or ongoing research. Links to contact details are usually available in articles. Details can include citation analytics, as well as confirmation that the researcher is still active in their area of expertise. A general internet search can also provide current contact details. When considering grey literature for inclusion in research, it's important to note that grey literature is generally not peer-reviewed, and so should be evaluated before inclusion in research reviews. Evaluation criteria includes currency, does the date fit with the research purpose, it's best to leave the data if a date can't be found, relevance, is it significant, does it enrich or have an impact on the research, authority, has the report come from a reputable institution or organisation, accuracy, is it supported by documented and authoritative references, is there a clearly stated methodology, and bias, is the source objective, look carefully at industry sponsors or political sources for funding bias. Comprehensive literature reviews include all available evidence. This includes commercially published as well as grey literature. For research help, visit the Murdoch University Library.